I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your love from your right. Okay, guys, time to hear from Off Tap Brain. Cheers. Just a uh, little video for you guys. No brewing in this one, um, but I should be able to get some some brew footage in a in a week or so. I've got a brew club meeting and other stuff going on, so and some beer I'm running out of, so might have to get a brew on shortly. Um, so I can show you the latest updates in what's happening in the brewery when that happens. Um, special shout out to uh, Glenn from Home Beer Brewery. Welcome to the club, my man. Um, you know. Uh, Buying a buying a Braumeister is a brew changing experience. Uh, some people say it takes away from away from the brewing experience, but mate, it only enhances the brewing experience. I mean, if you know how to mash in a mash tun, well, let's mash in a mash tun at five different temperature settings. <laughs> you know, it, it is a fantastic way of brewing. And if you need any help, mate, or anyone, any of you guys out there need any help with the Braumeister, whether it be um, best ways of cleaning. Um, some tricky things you can do with the Braumeister. Uh, I know Glenn bought a 20 litre one. Pardon me. I'm I'm thinking with a bit of playing around, he can he can up that system and definitely do double, triple batches out of it. Um, you know, using it as a fancy mash tun. So, Glenn, if you, you know, have any have any questions, please feel free. Like I said, anybody have any questions, please feel free. Um, you know, or anyone got any advice on seeing the way I brew and want to, you know, give me some some handy tips? So I'd really appreciate that. You know, if I'm doing it wrong. Okay, um, this video I just wanted to put out there on basically follow your beer through to the end. Follow it through. Um, follow it through comes from sort of reading a lot of forums where people are tipping their beer out. Like halfway through fermentation, oh, it looks odd tipping it out, um, mate. It's 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 um it's a, it's as creative as cooking um, this process um, because you can design your own recipes and you can you can uh, brew the way you want. You can free from brew. You can you know there's no rules on what you can put or can't put in your brew. brew. If you want to put it in there, I mean, you guys, if you check my back catalogue, I did a waffle cone beer, waffle cone bananas honey. And it was good-ish for a while, and then it went bad, and then it got really, really good, and then it sort of just changed out and just didn't like it after that. But it went through stages of being good, and then so yeah, it's yeah. And I added like five packets or four packets of of waffle cones. Um, just realised it's pretty dark. <laughs> But uh, seeing you brew through to the end, um, you know, when we're cooking, we throw a piece of steak on, we throw some stuff in the cooker, we some mushrooms, some cream, some prawns, blah, 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 blah. We can add salt to it as we're going, we can add this, we can taste it, and boop, it's on the plate, there it is. With brewing, you can't do any of that. That's it. Once you've brewed it and bottled it, that's it until it's carbonated in any glass cold. That's it. You, you know, it, you're stuck with what you got. You know, two weeks carbonating and, and all that sort of stuff, so... My my thought, and I've done it many times. Yeah, uh, not you know, every now and then you stuff a beer up, something happens, it goes askew, not to plan. You get an infection or whatever. Every time I've seen that brew through to the end, I keg it, bottle it, whatever, carbonate it, drink it, taste it, wait on it. You know, wait a month, taste it again, wait another month, taste it again. You know, and just learn from all the changes. Learn from the initial visuals, the initial how I stuffed it up, to the visuals, to um, the smells and aromas while it's fermenting, to the tastes when you're when you're actually racking it over into your your bottles or your keg, um, to you know um, pre. It's almost carved, I'll have a taste, to it's carved, I'll have a taste, to it's been carved for a week, I'll have a taste, and so on and so on for a month or two. And just the changes that those mistakes can make. Um, I've had lacto and, and other infections like everyone does. I mean, every now and then you, you, you get a bee that you infect somehow. Something happens. Um, and 
you know, what do you do? Well, follow it through to the end. Um, if you start seeing something growing on top, if you can crash chill it, crash chill it. If you can't crash chill it, rack it off into your keg or your bottles and see that through to the end. Like obviously when you're racking it, you're gonna take from the bottom the infections on the top. So, you know, you're pretty pretty much clear there and I've had good good results in crash chilling when I see the infection and then siphoning from the bottom. <laughs> Perfectly good beer. Stop it in its tracks. You know, learn from my mistake. You know, don't put dirty hydrometers in your fermenter and leave them in there for a week and a half. You know, stuff like that. And you know, we're all we're all keeping accurate <laughs> brew records. Um, I'm sure, like I do, uh, somewhere, something. My missus keeps telling me, "You got to be writing these down." Never happens. But um, you know, I know when I've just opened the freezer grabbed a handful of hops and thrown them in and just looked at my hands and gone, oh, I really should have washed them. That's going to be bad. Or, you know, you know what's happening. So yeah, guys, my advice would be, you know, even though, even if you've only got a few bottles spare, uh, even like plastic soft drink bottles, you can still carbonate in them, anything spare. Uh, you don't have to use your good glass bottles or anything like that, but see your beer through to the end see learn from it learn the changes yeah you're probably going to tip it out at the end my driveway has seen more beer than <laughs> than anything really it's uh i've tipped keg after keg after keg down there and in, in my five years of brewing so um you know but i'm 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 extreme not cleaning i'm extreme experimental uh you know if it sounds good i'll do it sort of bro <laughs> which sometimes is bad. We do create the good stuff though. You know, we do have the good beers on tap once in a while. But yeah, see it through to the end, learn from it. Beer will make you smarter if you let it. If you just rely on other people's opinions to, oh, tip it, it's infected, oh no, it's gonna taste terrible, tip it, tip it. You know, a lot of people get on those forums and they get 100 different people giving advice, arguments start, and it's just really, really frustrating when if you've made a mistake, see it through to the end, learn from that mistake, and move on. It's very, very simple. Remember, guys, beer will make you smarter. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your left from your right.